Uh, it's still gonna have to come back later. Oh, I can't grab those. Interesting. Uh, I think I might still have enough. Uh, no, we might have to go... We might have to go rob some other area wholesale. Also, I guess we do have another lamp just sitting around right there. Okay, yeah, let's let's just loot everything wholesale and see what I can see what I can make like this. See, I see cooperative in the tags. Yes, there is actually multiplayer for this game. I might not do it. It really depends. I guess part of it is it really depends on, uh... I, I might actually reach out to Moose and Joe, because they're also trying to do the co-op for this game, though they're trying a little bit harder than I am. I've... I'm not going to say given up. Uh, let's see. Do you have any more of these just metal blocks lying around? A lot of this I can't actually... I can't pick up. Ah. Yeah, we might just have to go find the iron ourselves. Oh. I'm gonna snag that lantern. Okay. So it's a barrel and a lantern. Where else are the barrels? Barrel there and two barrels on the other side. Might actually be out of barrels. Oh no no no! Barrels are barrels are already in place. Uh, there it is. Okay, this you know this is actually starting to come together. We still got to figure out how to get the targets and some other things. Everyone in this game feels much more human than the first. Sort of, yeah. I think they just got better at writing it, and they had a lot more of a budget to make it good. Okay, so... We want to take these dish sets and put them here. That there. Barrel tables. Go there. What goes on top? So that gets the crockery. Stone table, stone table. In stools. Goes on top of those. More, more, or not crockery flagons, maybe? I'm not sure. So I'm still missing full flagons, pub signs, dartboards, and bottles. Oh, stone stool. Ah. I think everything else I don't have. At least I got a whole bunch of glass sitting around, so I can actually use that for stuff. Let's see. So, I don't have much copper, but I'll keep making it. Takes forever, though. I don't remember it taking that long. I don't remember it having a, a element of time at all, actually. Oh, hi. I don't usually learn recipes when grabbing items anymore. Carafe Collection. A stylish set of glass receptacles suited for serving drinks. Look at how the ghost shows up at the very end of the night. Malroth just comes out like a bat out of hell being like, I'm going to kill him. And then the sun comes out and it doesn't matter. Look at him go. Melroth is... Melroth is ready to bust some ghosts. Dang. Okay, so Bar's coming along rather well. 
There's still pretty limited in what I've got. I gotta start casking up some of this stuff, though. This is gonna take a while. Hopefully nobody's just gonna, like, take it and drink it. Because I'm running out of these, these fruits. See, don't forget to arm your people. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm very low on copper, though. So I'm gonna arm myself. And then I'll arm the rest of them later. Let's see, anything else I can build? Because we can't make those because we need Digger's Jigger. Then yeah, everything else is actually stuff that I have to, uh... They're eating all my food. I mean, it'll be fine once I have a supply, but like, I kind of need that stuff. Uh... Cause yeah, I am a, uh, I'm a starving boy. So let's grab the rest of the diggers jigger. Okay, are they in position? I think they are. Maybe what? my marker. Wait, hold on. Oh. There's actually a puzzle shrine out there. Interesting. Why do I... Why do I have an objective marker out there? Confusing. We train. And considering I have an infinite amount of these minecarts, I can just kind of do whatever I want. Might want to get rid of some of these stops, maybe? Just for my own convenience? We'll see. There's actually more rail there that I could have grabbed. Oh well, later. I switch back to my hammer. I like the new tools in this one. It is throwing me for a heck of a loop, though. Uh, trying to trying to use them for stuff. Oh, that one was worth a lot. Okay, that solves some of my my drink problems. Just massive amounts of supply. I'll have to grill up some mushrooms too. Okay. Where's my, where's my cart combo? There it is. We. Yeah, I guess it is just all the way out here. Oops. And yeah, I, I will fix a lot of this stuff up at a later date. We. Yeah, okay, that does double my damage up, but the loss of the insta kill is. I'm not gonna say devastating. It sucks. But at the same time, that really does make up for it, and then some. Okay, I think that's all of it. Now, do we want to just blast our way through this? Yeah, we need we need a lot more copper. But because yeah, I can rely on these guys to get me more. But not very fast. And it's going to be a bit of a problem. Let's see. That is... That's uh, like an okay amount up there. I'll have to see more about it. Take care of Night Slime. Or the Heal Slime is going to be my buddies in this one. Three. 
It doesn't actually look like what's-his-face is gonna help here. Yeah, he's just gonna cower. So, I'm not even sure if arming those guys is worth it. Let's see, so what do you gotta say? Gooey, are you Goobins? It's been a long, long slime since I last saw one of you. I'm happy you came to greet me. But none of the monsters down here are friendly, you know. Some are really dangerous. Nice slime is the worst. That's when the hoodlums come out. If you see a blue cowl and, an amor and enormous muscles, you best steer clear. The sun doesn't shine down here in the tunnels, so it's squeezy peasy to forget it's bed slime. But if you see a hoodlum, you can be super certain the sun's gone down. That's how you know it's slime to go back home before they splat you. The amount of just sheer, sheer punnage that they managed to like, just squish into these games is a problem. Not a big one, but it's just like, how? How long does it take to even like write all that in? It's impressive. All right, these bombs only uh, blast upwards. I forget that sometimes. I guess I probably should have been fixing up the uh, train track the entire time. Oh well. That's okay. Oh, secret fruit. I will eat the secret fruit. It will be mine. Also, the enemies seem to drop fruit for me, which is nice. Gimme. Oh, we're gonna be making some food tonight. What else we got in here? Now, it does actually look like there's some branching paths, too. Let's go this way, though. Hey, that's a hoodlum. Ow. I do really wish you could actually... Wow, that's a... Hell of a lot of mole men. Oh, and they drop food for me. Yes. Please keep doing that. Because I, I need food. I need food bad. I mean, not anymore. I think I'm actually pretty well stocked. At least compared to where I, wa where I was when I started this chapter. Uh, let's see. Now, I'll want to take a look at that, that side branch. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. And now... I might also want to check my stock of coal, but I probably have a bunch. That might not have been the best place. We'll see. No, I got it all anyway. Do I have to... I guess I have to. Or not. Never mind, it figured, it, it figured itself out. I do appreciate that these objectives are much more, like, overreaching. It's not really letting me explore as much. That's okay. There's, there is a train track here. We're out a bit. There's a lot in here. Anyways, sup? Oh, hey, nav globe. Yoink! Now warp to the copper dig site. Gordon Bennett a bat for brunch! There were a lot of uh, them lot are part of Argon's army! Dude, Melroth! Keep them filthy blighters away from me! I should probably not use bombs against these guys. I'm not really sure what would happen. Probably nothing major, but. It'd be awkward, all the same. Uh, let's see. I am hungry. There's steak. Damage bonus. A yeah, block magnet would be nice. Yeah, that would actually be nice if, as you leveled up, your radius would expand. That'd be cool. Phew! Thanks for sorting, uh, sorting that. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack there. I gotta say, dude. You ain't half bleeding strong for a, wait, you ain't half bleeding strong for a skinny geezer. But would you look at the state of this place? Our guns monstery mates must have been using it as a lair, filthy beggars. They messed 
up this gaff good and proper. I can't believe they'd treat such terrific tunnels with such such disrespect. It's unforgivable. If me monsterphobia hadn't turned me into such a blinking coward, I'd get my own back on them. Uh Blagskites. Make no mistake. Let's see now. Here, I recognize this place. It used to be one of the main excavation sites back in the day. There's definitely metal to be mined around here. Once we've got a few more miners on board, let's... Uh, once we've got more miners on board, let's head back up top and give Digby a quick status update. Oh, don't forget to activate the Navaglobe, if you haven't already. These tunnels are like a maze, all twisty and turny. If you ever lose your way, them glowing globes are just the ticket for getting yourself back on track. Okay, I want to look around a little bit, though. Because we might as well grab all of the food-related stuff that we've got here. Get off that. I wonder why there's a torch there. That looks just suspicious enough that I want to punch through it. Worst comes to worst, we hit bedrock. And I stop. I'm not betting on this leading anywhere. Yeah, no, this looks like it's... It's nothing. What happens if I do this? Oh, it, it won't even let me... Wait, hold on. It actually looks like it... It might loop back on itself if I... If I did it right. Not sure if the NPCs would see it that way. Or care. Or if it would matter. They might? Probably wouldn't, but still. Oh, I cannot read that from over here. I should probably work on... Uh, I should probably figure out a better setup so I can actually read my things. Okay. What is that? Come on. There's more than these things. Stupid activity feed. Why are you only showing me the things from hours ago? New dashboard. There we go. Thank you, uh, what is that? Artemite. Artemites. For the, uh, for the sub and welcome. Did I miss anybody else? Might have. Nope, didn't miss anything else. Awesome. I'm always afraid that I don't thank the people. Because I want to thank everybody. Thank you all. Even those of you that aren't subbing to me. Because that's fine. I realize that that's not up for everybody. Also, I was going to talk about uh, Prime Day and why like people are skipping out on that. I'm sure a number of people have uh, probably heard this before. Um, but Amazon, the, uh, the parent company for Twitch at this point, is... I'm not going to say they're always bad to their employees, but relatively notoriously bad to them along the way. Hello. Uh, overworking them, poor work conditions, making them walk, like, an extreme distance to and from the bathroom, which is baffling and stupid. And so a lot of people are, are specifically not streaming today. Uh, very, very specifically in protest. Honestly, I'd rather just talk about it openly as, like, yeah, Amazon is not actually the greatest company, which is a bit of a shame because, like, they certainly have the money to treat their people better. They just don't. I don't know. There's a dusty book entitled A New Dawn. Dude takes a closer look. It seems to be a long handwritten memoir. Do you want to read it? Yes. How many times has the sun set since I arrived on Crumbledon? I cannot say. But at some indeterminate point, this place became my home. The locals have a peculiar peculiar dress and even more peculiar fascination with their own muscles. And even so, they welcomed me as one would a long lost brother. They live simple lives, hunting punicorns. Uh, foraging... Oh yeah, it wasn't bonnets. Anyway. Foraging for mushrooms or prickly peaches. Little do they know what wonders sleep beneath their feet. Labyrinthine tunnels filled with ancient treasures and most marvelous metals. I must confess that there's a certain something whose construction I have long intended to see to fruition. Should my plan succeed, 
This simple Spartan society may soon be transformed into one of bustling abundance, where the locals can finally put their mighty muscles to use. In this world that knows not the power of creation, I can but pray that by my small effort, the people may begin to see the joy of building once more. Memoir ends there. Yep. Amazon has all that money because it treats its employees so poorly. Not really. Like, straight up Amazon would not be poor if uh, if they started uh, treating their people better. They just wouldn't be as rich. And that's that's really kind of the, the trade-off. And I think that's, like, true of quite a lot of places uh, in the U.S. That... It's so easy to just, like, treat people as human resources instead of, well, humans. And I'm not really sure where I stand on the whole, on the whole strike thing. Because I've definitely, like, worked at places that worked, worked me to the bone way, uh, maybe not way worse than Amazon. But, like, I worked at a grocery store that, uh, I worked at a grocery store that thought it was totally reasonable to put people outside in, like, 90, 100 degree weather in business casual in like dress shoes because that was the style that they were trying to like put forward which let me tell you trying to work in those conditions not very good for you uh it was not infrequent that people would go home for like heat exhaustion and heat stroke and i'm sure it gets pretty bad in some of these too am i talking about Publix? nah i was working at a I guess if you guys are in the uh, Massachusetts area, it was Market Basket was the uh, grocery ice grocery store I worked for. It wasn't terrible all the time, but there were definitely points where it was just like, who's the idiot that thought this was like, uh, you know, thought this was acceptable to do to your employees? Oh, and it's nighttime. Listen here, lads. The light's fading fast, so we better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration. It looks like we've bagged a bumper all. First up, dude, share. Blah, 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 Thank you, me need 840 more lumps of copper. Then me become copper golem. All right, that's your lot. You boys deserve a digger's jigger or two. Okay, it's the same dialogue every single time. I'm like, I don't know. I think the main problem with uh, me and stuff like the, the Amazon... Uh, the Amazon strike, especially for stuff like Twitch and stuff, is like a lot of Twitch streamers very specifically aren't even employees of Amazon. Though I feel like there does need to be some more consideration for the people that are just grinding it out on this site forever. Uh, God, but that's that's probably not not gonna happen easily or ever or question mark. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, do they take your take your copper and gold? Nope. I, they actually give me stuff because they've they've been mining, which is nice, and actually is seemingly the best way to get it because I'm not actually gaining that much copper here, but that's okay. Uh, but no, I, I think I think the whole like uh, labor labor thing and the Amazon walkouts and whatever are kind of necessary because I think as profits have been going up lately. A lot of companies have really kind of forgotten the human element of like, yeah, you know, you could, well, Malroth just clean, cleans that out real fast. But like, yeah, these are people working here in a lot of cases, like, working themselves way past the point where they should be. I know Japan's going through, like, quite a, quite a number of issues because people are, like, overworking themselves. I know, like, China... Almost China, especially, because what is it, the 715 or something like that? Where you work like 15 hours a day, 7 days a week or something like that? It was insane. Or the, uh, the problem is that people with the power to change things. Also get the greatest benefit from it. Yup. Super, super freaking sucks. And like, truly the best, best... Thing most of us can even do about it is just vote. Sucks. 
I'm a, unless you can't vote. At which point, hope, uh, hope that other people are voting right. I don't know. Uh, altruism is something that seems to kind of come and go. Usually based at corporate whim, which sucks. Because, yeah, the world, I think, would be a lot better of a place if... Yeah, people weren't getting just exploited into oblivion. Like, I know when I was uh, just graduating from college, they finally got rid of unpaid internships. And even then, like, every once in a while, I I would actually get, like, a job offer from a place. And it's like, yeah, we want you to work for, like, two years, but we're not going to pay you for anything. And it's like, uh, sorry, what? Oh, yeah, and you're going to have to move to San Francisco. What's a double what? Well, let's see, I don't see anything else here. I'm going to go check that other section. I'm surprised I haven't gotten ganked by any ghosts. We want to murder these Drakis, because they usually have food. But yeah, seeing as only some people are good and will, like, do things out of goodwill, I think it's probably best that we just, like... Oh, I don't know. That's why stuff like minimum wage is so important, and, like, maximum hours you can make people do. I know the games industry has been going through, uh, crunch issues. And, you know, it's like working your, your people for hundreds of hours for... I'm honestly gonna say it's it's super unclear benefits, too. Because, I technically, I have been working permanent crunch since I started my channel. You know, easily clocking in hundreds of hours. I mean, obviously not hundreds of hours per week, but, like, way more than most people would generally put into, uh... You know, put into a job. And I do it largely because I gain almost all of the benefit. I mean, I guess YouTube and Twitch do as well. And you guys to a lesser degree. But it's one of those where it's like, it's all, all completely self motivated and self benefiting. But there's definitely, there's definitely like a notable feeling of burnout after like, you know, Friday's rolling around and I'm just like, I just don't want to play any more video games for a while. Or, you know, I'll do like an eight-hour stream and I'll just be like, oh god, I don't want to edit a damn thing for like three days. But I know I got it and blah blah blah. And so like, I can see the benefits for Crunch, but almost everybody that's ever like put into Crunch, uh... Let's see. Make some HP increased. Chainmail! Hey! I think that's... The same defense as my turtle suit. Oh. And this guy's here now. We're gonna just kill this Drakki and then we're gonna bail. Uh, let's see. But yeah, we're working past like X, X number of hours in a week. For somebody that's just a rank and file employee that very likely will get laid off at the end of the project, that's almost always one of those situations where it's like, yeah, don't make those people work past 50 hours ever. They're not going to be productive. I know I know the weeks that I worked like 60, 80 hour, hours here and there, I usually ended up spending half of that, if not more, just listlessly browsing the internet, being too tired or too unmotivated to do anything. And maybe that's just because I was working at not so great job. But it is definitely one of those where it's like, you really, really do lose a lot of productivity the moment you start putting in more hours than, uh, than you should. Okay, how many more rail tracks do I have? I don't think I have enough. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. We have some more sandstone bricks, glass, put the chests away. We have another door. Not a good one, but still. Okay. Well, did I really burn through that many rails? Dang. Okay, I'm just gonna run this in. I'm not actually sure if we need to, or if it'll be a quest, but I might as well get that started. At least for now. 
What else do we want to do? What else do we... Oh, right. We had a bunch of... Ooh. Copper. That guy's just going to be perpetually here. Also, waste time fixing errors you wouldn't have made while you're awake. Oh, absolutely. I don't know how many of you guys have... Uh... Uh, how many of you guys have, like, loaded up one of my videos on YouTube and the audio might sound weird? You know, maybe it's only coming out of one ear or something like that. That's almost always because, uh, I wonder if I can put armor on Malroth. Probably not. Uh, but you know, if there's audio coming out of one ear or if an episode doesn't go up for a day, almost all of that is because, uh, I was either too tired to do it or, like, too scatterbrained to do it well. And so I make a mistake, and I end up actually spending quite a lot of time, yeah, going back and re-rendering those videos and so on and so forth. And it's like this stupid cascade effect, too. Where not only is something wrong and I have to fix it, but I have to... Uh, something's wrong, I have to fix it, but I have to... Then I lose out on a bunch of time that I might have spent pro uh, productively doing something else. In fixing it. Ugh, it's not. It's not fun. Are there any other rails around here? I swear I saw another set of rails hanging out somewhere, but I don't I don't see it. I might have to start producing them. But that's okay. So did the dock have the iron blocks I was looking for? Yeah, but I don't think I can move them. So Nice one, dude. You put a uh, done a stellar job opening up them tunnels again. Put a proper put in a proper shift. Now we can get to the old excavation station. The metal's sure to come pouring in. Got high hopes for the next evening report. But I got a bone to pick with you, dude. Babs gave you a something before you packed off down the pit, didn't she? Some kind of heartfelt home cooked handout. What's that all about, then, eh? I'll tell you now, Sonny Jim. I ain't giving up without a fight. From now on, you and me are rivals for Babs's affection. Stop right there, Digby. If anyone's deserving of Babs' affections, it's me. Don't you even think about trying to wheedle your way into good books. You're all so full of it. That lass has looked up to me since she was a babbling baby. There's only one fellow in Babs's eyes. Magrog, the mighty master of metalworking. You are all wrong. Babs is angel. Pretty angel. Me like pretty angel Babs best. Put a sock in it, will you? <laughs> Malroth! I don't know what the heck you idiots are talking about, but this place would be nothing without me and dude. You all belong to us. The dancing girl to be included. Poor! You're like a pack of bleeding animals. You're talking about me, daughter. Here. Me pride and joy. When it comes to Ma Babs, what I say goes. And I say you can all get right out of it. I ain't having it no more. You're all me rivals now. Every single one of you. I gotta let you bleeders pass me. No blinking chance. Even you, Babs. No way. All right, we should be able to level up the town now. Bango. Yup. Okay, so we've leveled up the town. Oh, we got a non-muscle man. Probably a smith? Or a waiter, I'm not entirely sure. He does have kind of a similar outfit to Babs. Town has a lot of people in it though. Okay, iron block, silver brick, wooden door, Connecting window. Ooh! So they actually connect now. That's a nice system. Simple bed, connecting counter, bar counter, folding screen, water jug, playing cards, dumbbells, plant pot, mining tools, pub sign, and a dartboard. Sound of that bell is like music to me ears, I tell you. I feel better at building stuff already. 
Hello! Looks like we got some newcomers to show around. Now we'll be digging up metal like nobody's business. That bell is bleeding brilliant. So you can now make iron blocks and silver brick blocks now. You're getting a bit ahead of yourself. We haven't found any iron or silver yet. Did I spy playing cards and a dartboard in that book of yours? That's great. A few games will live uh, liven up the pub. No, pub no end. I've got a f feeling life in this old town's about to perk up. All you need to do is build what you've invented, in it. <laughs> well, don't just leave the new lad standing there, dude. Go over and give him a good old uh, crumble done hello. We licked it out over here as soon as we heard that ringing of sound, but we never expected to find all this. What's going on here then? Hold on. I ain't fixing up the tunnels and digging for metal by any chance, are you? Children of Argon are dead, ag dead against anything of the sort. Where the boss hears about this, you're for it, sunshine. Oh, you. You leave dude alone, you hear? I'll be having none of that talk in this town. What? Is this a dream? A mirage? What's a gorgeous girl like you doing a scruffy dump like this? I'll tell you, we ain't following the children of Argon no more. We're following this builder instead. We're rebuilding the bar and reopening the mine. Are you with us or not? Don't blind me! She's a je devil in disguise. Argon will have our guts for garters if he gushes wind of the what's going on here. That's it. If it doesn't catch wind, maybe no problem. Parts for Argon. Forget the children or whatnot. I'm staying put. Whatever you need, just say the word. Just not to Argon, yeah? Good day. Sergey's the name. The sound of the bell brought me here, too. But unlike these fickle fellows, I, for one, shall not be pronouncing my faith. Still, the lady would like or would make far more pleasant company than these boorish barbarians. Very well, vile builder. I shall stay here, too, and protect this fair maiden from your sinful influence. But know this, should you construct anything that brings calamity upon our heads, I shall inform the children at once. Surge and a six-pack of strapping pitmen move into the town. Oh my god, we have too many of these people. I Can I just have one room assigned to all the pitmen and it's just like a pile? A literal pile of people? That'd be nice. Good lord, there's so many of them. They all run the same too, it's honestly uncomfortable. Hello, dude. I hear things are going swimmingly down there in the mine. That's bleeding marvelous. Just make sure you give me old copper bar a bit of attention now and then. Don't forget how important it is to the miner's mentality. I had a couple of simple sipper sets. A lonely miner could drown his sorrows in peace. Take the blueprint and see where I need them placed. Whack a full flagon on top of the stone table. Stick a stone tool ne a stool next to it. And Bob's your uncle. Just make sure there's two of them. So, sort of, but no, you need to make a room for everyone that isn't the Muscle Man. And make a room for that. I mean, that would work. Because I feel like we should have a, a pit room for the pit men. Oh, I'm actually running out of coal. Well, I'll have to go find more along the way. Okay. Hey, dude. I've been watching you, you know? Watching you build stuff on Furrow Field, back on our island, and now in Crumbledon. I think I got a hang of it now. Let me have a go at the workbench, would you? Huh. Okay, here it goes. Poor Malroth. And then you go like this, right? Huh? Gah! Gah! Why can't I do it? Why? Everyone else can build stuff, but whatever I try, nothing works. Maybe that voice was right. Maybe I really am just a master of destruction. Ah, forget it. Why do I need to build anything anyway? But I've got a real life builder on my side. You can take care of the crafting, but if any monsters need mashing, I'm your man. I honestly do feel kind of bad for Valroth. Oh, by the end of the game, he's able to build one thing. He doesn't need more. I just want him to build a thing before we're done with the game. Okay, so I gotta go find iron ingots. Yeah, that probably ain't happening for a little while, at least. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I've got a couple of the full flagons. Uh, 
Okay, improvements to the bar made the miners more motivated. Another mine, more metal. Ooh, I like that. I like this progression system. It's it's fun. Oh my days, the bar's looking more and more like its old self. Once this gas finished, the miners will be able to devote themselves to digging during the day. Safe in the knowledge that they can come here at night and dump their stresses at the door. I can picture it now. It'll just be like the gold rush days back when the island was buzzing and business was booming. People flocked here from far and wide, open to strike it lucky in the mines and walk away millionaires. And he did, until the day the digging dried up, the miners turned into monsters, fighting tooth and claw over every last speck of metal. That's when the children of Argon showed up. They said the only way to stop the scrapping was to close down the mines for good. At a point, you know, but with a bitter fight and must have might have stopped. The moment the tunnels were sealed off was the moment our dreams died. To tell you the truth, I'm still on the fence about going against them, but you've shown me that building ain't bad. In fact, it's bleeding brilliant. I believe in you, dude. Let's get this island up and running again. <laughs>